Hi, I'm Peter Stolmans. I work in the University of Leuven as a vitreoretinal surgeon. I've been using the EVA system for um, almost five years now. Uh, I do all my cases with the EVA system, so that makes uh, several thousand of cases. And I've done more than 20 live surgeries now using the EVA system as well. Uh, I find personally the most challenging cases the vitrectomies that have a detached retina where we need uh, to gently uh, reapply the retina to the, um, to the eye. And um, for these cases, the VTI pump system of the EVA really matters. Uh, for example, I always start my cases in uh, vacuum mode uh, to remove rather quickly the core of the vitreous. But then we need to uh, carefully dissect the vitreous from the vitreous base. And for that, the unique VTI system can provide you a flow control. And this is matched with the TDC cutter, uh, which allows you a very precise and delicate removal of the vitreous in these cases. I have um, four colleagues now who uh, are presently using the EVA. Um, two of them are fellows, uh, two of them are co-workers. Uh, and we all use the same system. Uh, also, my co-workers like to use the EVA because each uh, surgeon can have his or her own individual settings, uh, foot pedal control, uh, vacuum settings, flow settings, etc. So that's also an advantage of the EVA platform that you can really customize your own settings uh, as you like. Um, for dyes, I use two types of blue dyes. Uh, one is uh, island blue, which I use in uh, macro hole cases and in vitreo uh, macro cases, where I do not expect to have fibrosis uh, on the macula. Um, in pucker cases or in PVR cases, I uh, use a membrane blue dual because it has two staining agents and it will both stain the ILM and the fibrosis. Another favorite of mine is the pre-filled syringes of heavy liquid. Uh, actually, I use both the pre-filled octane and decane syringes. Uh, in uh, fresh acute detachments, I prefer to use perfluoro-octane syringes because I see better the leftovers of the vitreous, which make like an indentation in the octane. However, for uh, PVR cases where the retina uh, will be more rigid, uh, I prefer the heavier dye, the perfluoro-decane uh, in these surgeries. On the EVA we use two types of packs. One of the packs is the full 27 gauge system where all three cannulas are 27 gauge. And we use this now in more than half of our cases. Um, for the other cases, for example the more challenging cases like retinal attachments, uh, oil removals, um, oil exchanges, we use our hybrid pack. The hybrid pack has a 27 gauge cannula which is used as an infusion cannula combined with a high flow infusion line of course. Uh, is, this stroke car is placed in the lower nasal quadrant and the two working cannulas are 23 gauge. So can, you can use a higher diameter of instruments uh, and also have for example better passive flow for your backflush instruments. Uh, the advantage is that you have a very tiny incision at the infusion area and you have larger openings uh, as working cannulas and you can also easily switch over hands left right because both of your working cannulas are 23 gauge. I would definitely recommend to try the EVA. Uh, it has a set of unique features. For example, the pump system, the VTI pump system, has the unique uh, feature that you can choose either between vacuum mode or flow mode. You have a very precise control of your aspiration. Also, the TDC cutter that fits on the machine is, um, is allowing you to really gently remove all the vitreous. The light source is a very powerful LED light source, mainly if you go very small gauge like 27 gauge, it's a real benefit to have such a powerful light source available. Um, also the foot pedal can be programmed exactly as you like. If you like a linear control, you can use it linear. If you like a dual linear control, you can use it dual linear. Another feature that I find very safe to use is the automated infusion compensation. It is a system that automatically generates more or less pressure in your infusion bottle when you're aspirating more or less of the vitreous. And um, this creates a situation where whatever you're using, you have a constant pressure inside the eye, which guarantees you a very safe surgery. 
in about 40% of cases we perform a combined phaco vitrectomy which is a lens surgery combined with a vitrectomy and I particularly like the phaco needle uh, which is slightly curved and has a 45 degree uh, tip. Uh, with the 45 degree tip you still see the uh, edge of your tip when you're doing your sculpting um, and the tip has a very sharp point which is a major advantage when you're uh, operating on very hard cataracts.